Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. That's what we're doing. Let's jump right into it. It's a long one. Step number one is to put your video in the timeline that you want to do the character intro with. Make sure it's already color graded and your LUD is on there. Everything's good to go. Get to the spot where you want that character intro to come in. And I think I want the intro to come right there. So what we're going to do is take a snapshot of this. So go to the share button at the bottom and hit snapshot. And that will send that to your photo roll. So that was 1215 and he says yo right there. I'm going to cut it right there and drop the audio out. Drop it down there. Next step is to go to Sketchbook, which is a completely free app, which is great. Now let's get that picture in here by hitting the picture plus icon. Choose the picture that we want. And I'm just going to move this to the exact size of that white frame. And now I'll hit done. So all we want to do here is erase everything that's around him. Now these are your brush tools on the side here. We want to go down till we get to the eraser, which is right there. And we'll make it pretty big at first to get rid of a lot of the background here. Now we'll just make this a little smaller here. And if you ever make a mistake, like let's say I went over there, all you would have to do is hit the back button and that will undo your last action. That's why it's important to pick up your pencil every now and then. This way, when you go to undo something, you don't lose a good portion of your work product. Now I'll just make him a little bigger so that we can get in there and really do some fine work here. I'll make it even smaller again so that we can really get some good detail in here. And once you've got everything erased out and looking pretty perfect, now we want to save this again. So let's go to the file and we are going to hit share. And we will, you can either save the image or you can send it right off to LumaFusion. So let's do that. Now let's go back to LumaFusion. And once you launch LumaFusion, there that photo was going to be. So we're going to grab it and put it right down on the timeline at 1215. And we are going to actually cut this video down here at exactly 1215 to snip it. And we want to move that down the timeline. So we will unlink it and drag it over here just so that it's out of the way a little bit. Now what we want to do is go back to our photo roll and take that original photo and move it down on the timeline so that it's underneath that. There's a reason that we did that. So now we're going to work with this picture. So let's double tap it so that we can edit it. We're going to go to the key for chroma key and we're going to hit light luma key. And we're just going to fix this so that it's perfect. It's a little smaller, so we'll make it, for some reason it came in a little smaller, so we'll make it a little bigger so that it matches exactly. That looks good. Now the way that ca the character intro should come in is in three frames. So we're going to move this up a little bit because we're going to have some things happening here. The first thing that we want to do is get a background for him. So we'll hit the plus sign choose overlay title double tap on that so that we can edit it and we are going to throw the title away we will hit the plus sign and choose shape we're going to make that shape as big as we can till it covers the whole screen now we're going to make this the color that we want it to be and of course you can choose any color that you want that blue looks cool now that i have the blue background up, I can see the roll off with the chroma key didn't look good. So we'll go back and just fix that a little bit. Much, much better. The first thing I'm going to do is to keyframe this blue box. So I'll double tap on that. Go to frame and fit. We'll go down to blending. Make sure we're all the way back to the beginning. The first frame 
we're going to bring up the opacity of this to about, I would say about 54%. We'll drop a keyframe there to lock it in. The next keyframe will make it even stronger, about 80% around there. And then the next keyframe will make it totally solid. And now what's going to happen here is every frame, Ethan will get a little bigger and bigger. So we'll go double tap on that one. Make sure we're in frame and fit. And we are going to hit the plus sign right here. We're going to advance a frame. And we will make him a little bigger. Advance another frame. And make him a little bigger still. And this time we're going to move him over here. Now, if we want to have an outline around him, what we're going to do is duplicate this picture frame. But we want it to be underneath him, so we'll drop it there. Now let's double tap on that so that we can edit it. And what we're going to do to this one is going to go to Color and Effects, and we are going to go to, I think it's Invert, Invert. So we're going to go to uh, Frame and Fit at the first one. We're just going to make this one a little bigger than him, right there. Advance another frame. Once again, make it a little bigger. Advance another frame. And make it a little bigger than him still. Giving him a cool outline. That looks pretty cool. Also, for the effect, what you can do is make him this one. Uh, we'll go to color and effects. We can make him black and white. I happen to have a black and white LUT. But if you don't have a black and white LUT, what you can do is go to original and and pick their nor from there and that'll make it black and white. Just to make it look a little more cool. And I want to put a title right there so we'll hit the plus sign, overlay title. I'll move the title all the way up to the top and now we can edit the title. Go to the T that. I'll duplicate that so that I can edit it. Hit the pen and paper. I'll make this one a little smaller and I'll move it down. I'll hit the plus sign and pick a shape. I'll choose the one pixel. And I move it around with the sliders from here. And if you also want, we can throw a little bit of a shadow on that. As a matter of fact, let's throw a shadow on everything. By going to Shadow Distance and pulling it down. Now we're also going to keyframe the title. So we'll go to Frame and Fit, go to Blending, and the first frame we're going to bring down to zero and hit plus. And by the third frame, we want it all the way at 100. But let's go to size and position because let's go, we want to start off small and then end up a little larger. So we'll go down to like say right there. We'll move all the way back to the first frame. We'll hit the plus, advance three frames then we'll make it larger and see where we want it to end. Now if we want, I also made a little oil splat here that we can bring in. We'll have to edit that by going to the chroma key again and light luma again. Oh, actually what I'm thinking for that is we'll throw a sound effect on the last one. I won't bring it in until frame three. Now that I'm looking at it though, I think the title should be a little lower. Maybe a little higher. Right there, I guess. So let's drop a sound effect in there. Go to story blocks. I want like a, like a punch noise. Okay, I got the sound effect. It's called swooshing slapping punch and it comes with three. So I cut off the one and what I'm going to do is just line it up just so, so that it comes in right as that third frame comes in. So let's see how this looks. There we go. 
That's pretty cool. So listen, you don't want to hold these out for too long. You don't want it to be, you know, hanging out there forever. You only want these to be like two seconds at the most. Now from here, what we want to do is how we went bigger, bigger. Now we want to detransition from the character intro. So we're going to do that with three frames again. So once again, I will go here, go back to frame and fit, make a keyframe there and advance three frames. And I want to zero all of this out, put everything back to its original place. The next layer, we'll back up the three frames, make a keyframe, two, three. Actually here, we'll make a keyframe here, and then we can just erase that one. So here we'll make a keyframe on the oil splat, and we'll go to blending. I think we'll just blend this out too and we'll just pull the opacity of that down to zero. Same thing with the block of color blending. We'll make a keyframe and then one, two, three. We'll just fade it out. And then we can just erase everything from there. So just hit the scissor and then we erase the bottom most one and that will clean out everything. So then we grab and he will carry on with the video. So this is what it will look like. And that is a character intro. Now, of course, you don't have to do it exactly like I did. For instance, if you didn't want to have this blue box here, we can or if you just wanted to keep it basically opaque, you don't have to use the blue, we can get rid of that. But let's say you didn't wanna make, let's say you wanted to keep the original one in the background black and white. We can go there and make that one nor. Then we'll make this one the full color one. The only thing is the original snapshot below to keyframe that one too, just so it, because you don't want to see him in the background. So we'll go all the way back to the beginning, drop a keyframe, and each time he gets a little bigger, we're gonna have to make this a little bigger to match it. If you wanted to do it that way, then we can make this oil splat color. And by the way, we can change the color of that as much as we wanted. We could just go to um, uh, color and effects, go to original, and what we can do is go down a hue with, or tint, and you can make that any color you want. Doesn't have to be gray, it can be, can be green or blue like that. That looks pretty cool. So two different styles right there. One more time. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, that took an insane amount of time for something that's only to be on the screen for a few seconds. Why would I bother? And my answer is because it's cool. And it's these cool little things that are going to get you noticed. It's those cool little things that are really going to set you apart. Parker Wallbeck is hiring a new editor and he watched a bunch of different videos that people had submitted to get that editing job. And he watched one video and he's like, I can tell you right now, this guy spent four hours on that 15 second edit. So that right away catches my attention and says, oh my gosh, this person just spent four hours putting together an intro. Let's see what else he has to offer. That Movo versus Road video that I had done, the initial 30 seconds of that video did take me four hours. Now I'm not talking about the actual filming of that video, but the editing of it, you know, doing specialized things, titles, cuts, and everything. It's those extra things that if you're serious about making videos and getting more subscribers and you wanna get noticed, it's these things that you have to do. When I look back at my initial videos and it's just uh, me with one long static shot, no B-roll, no jump cuts, just uh, cringe. Congratulations to the 12K subscriber giveaway. Let me read the names. 
Backroads Nomad, Elizabeth S, Bob White W3B. I don't know if that's supposed to Wobe with that. I don't know. Michael Medina, Real Chicks TV, and Henry Patterson. You are all winners of the giveaway. I sent you notifications on your comments in the last video. Please send me an email with your shipping address and I will get you your prizes. And that's going to do it here for me today. I thank you so much for joining me. It means so much to me that you take your time out to watch my videos. Honestly, I'm still blown away by every single view and comment that I get. It means the absolute world to me, and I thank you so very much. And until next time, please wear your sunblock and give your mom and dad a shout just to say how much you love them.